Hi everyone, I had a request to share a little bit more information about the Smart Start STEM for pre-K. Um, we have been using this um, this year for my son for preschool, and then we also have the kindergarten one that we purchased to do next year. So I thought first I would just show you um, a couple of the um, topics in here. Um, that we've done. We don't do them in order necessarily. We just, whatever fits in with what we're doing. Um, but here's what is covered in the preschool book. So there's quite a number of activities. And I thought we could also take a look at what topics are in. I think there's, yeah, there's a lot of the same topics. Well, not a lot, but some. Plants, rocks is in there for sure. Um, so that's what's in the, the kindergarten one. All right, so this first one I'm gonna show you, we did at the very beginning of the school year. Um, he's not a big writer yet, so some of the writing sections we'll just have him um, tell us and we'll write it down. Okay, but this section was is this topic? Oh, shapes, colors, and sizes. So there is a text that you read that is about the topic that you're learning about, and then there's a little section for the parents um, down here about what you say or what you do. And there's a little story, and then there's some kind of like worksheet um, page. This one was nice because you don't have to write. You just have to scribble or circle whatever the correct one is. Here was one where you had to finish the pattern. Uh, find the shapes and color them. And then there's always like a little um, kind of story. So look at the picture, read the story, and she um, your, I guess your project is going to be you're making a toy box to um, hold a special toy. So the, this was his picture of a toy box holding a special toy. So then here is kind of the challenge. Um, the objective is to design and construct a toy box with a lid that holds a small toy. Um, toy box must have a square or a rectangle shape. Should hold only one toy and the toy box and its lid must be different colors. Um, we did not, I'll show you his toy box here if I can find it. Um, we did not do that part. Ours is all out of cardboard, that's the same color. And I don't think he wanted to color it. Um, here they give you suggested materials. And then use the materials to build the box that you drew. And then you test it, does your toy fit? Um, you put the lid on the box, does it close, is the toy sticking out, um, draw a picture of one thing that happened during your test. So this was a little bit much for us, just like I said, because he's not a big writer, or at least he really wasn't at the beginning of the school year. He is very much a drawer now, um, so we can get a little more in depth with, depth with these, but this was his plan. And then we... Um, we didn't do anything in this box. And then did it work? Yes. And then I think that's the end of that. Um, I will see, I don't know if I can get to his toy box because I think it's in his room and he's asleep. But um, let me see. another one that we did was, oh, we did the car ramp. So again, there's a text to read. There's this little, um, kind of section right here. They want to bring all these blocks in. Their dad gets a board. They make a ramp to get them in. Um, and it makes their job much easier. And then there's, again, another worksheet. And then here, I think, are they... Oh, yeah, circle the people who are using a ramp to make their work easier. So if you have a kid who's not writing a lot yet, these pages are good because there's not a lot that they, you know, just simple circling things or coloring in shapes. And then when you get to, um, and here you're drawing lines to match um, the ramp and what it does to make work easier. 
and there's a story and then they ask you, they give you the challenge, can you build a ramp to make a car go far and fast? And again, the layout is the same as the previous one. This was his plan, he used books and I think this was a book too. We tested it, but we didn't draw anything here and then they did, he and my husband measured it and they, um, my husband wrote those in, so. That was a good one. We also did um, a sinker float. Oh, yeah, we did a magnet one. And then we did a sinker float one. He really liked the sinker float one. Um, you can see this one was later in the year because he did more drawing. Um, yeah. So he loves it. He gets so excited when he sees that I have this book in his um, envelope to do. Now, some that we're going to be doing this summer, um, we're going to do, there's one about birds. This is what animals need. So this one we haven't done yet. And then another one that we're going to do a whole unit on for both my kids. So this will fit in is... This is one that we will do Oops, let me take that clip off. this summer. So I like it because it's not like, I don't have to gather that many things. These are all things I can either get from our yard or my house. It doesn't take a whole lot of prep time, but he really has a lot of fun doing it. And then like I said, if they're not, if your kid isn't really into writing, um, very much you can very easily do a lot of this page um, for them so we really like it we like it enough that we went ahead and got it again for the next year and like I said we haven't finished this yet but we'll do a few more throughout the summer um, and we can even use this into next year if we want if there's ones that we didn't do that we still want to do um, I, I wish that they made one this colorful for third grade they do have something similar for third grade but it's it's not as colorful and engaging as these ones are. So yeah, that is kind of our little flip through and my review. We like it. I recommend it. Um, I think there's ways to adapt it depending on the age and abilities of your child. So um, yeah, if you want, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. And I think I'm going to look, but I think there's a couple other videos that I've seen on this series and if I can find them um, from other YouTubers, I'll link them down below too so that you can check out what they think of them as well. All right, thanks for watching. Here is the toy box that we made for the toy box STEM activity. Now I will tell you, this is not one that he did all on his own. Um, he wanted to use cardboard, this kind of cardboard, and he does not have the scissor skills or the hand strength to cut this. So. I cut the pieces. He told me how many. So it was a good activity in that we got to talk about how many sides a toy box would have and what sizes the sides would need to be. So I cut these out and then I we used hot glue to put them together. Um, so I spread the glue and then he put and held the piece on. And then the lid was supposed to be um, separate but he wanted it attached so we talked about what it would need to be able to open and close, which was hinge, and he decided to use tape for the hinge. So, and then he wrote his name on the front, and he did not make it different colors, and then he has his toy inside. So, um, for this particular one, it wasn't something I felt that I could just put out supplies and he could construct it himself, but I'll insert a picture um, of the boat that he made for the sinker float activity and that we did just set out supplies and he constructed that all on his own so um, yeah so there's a couple examples